Well, overall, we've started off the day with plenty of sunshine, and that's exactly how we ended the day as well. Temperatures were in the upper 60s this morning. A few fair weather cumulus clouds this afternoon, and high temperatures getting very close to the 90s. Not 100% sure if we hit 90 degrees at the airport today. We won't really know for sure until tomorrow when that report comes out. But as of right now, it looks very likely that we saw our second 90 degree day of the year today and temperatures as of right now still in the low 80s and it's 1030 at night, so it's going to be a warm one heading into the rest of this weekend. We'll start our Saturday morning off in the upper 60s and our temperatures are just going to climb from there. A high temperature of 93 degrees, not just on Saturday, but even into Sunday as well. But notice that morning low on Sunday. We get even warmer in the morning hours and that's because we're looking at a surge of moisture this weekend, not just talking about the heat this weekend. We're talking about the humidity and the combination of the two is really what's going to make it just brutal outside for us throughout the entirety of the weekend. We even have the potential to see some spotty showers, especially in the afternoon and evening into the overnight Sunday. But as far as what we're looking at humidity wise, we've kind of been around this moderate to the lower humidity side of this uh, kind of muggy meter. But as we head into your Sunday, notice that spike that we get the humid to the oppressive level and that continues into Sunday and Monday as well before we see this little drop. That little drop is going to come because we're going to have a front move in, but that cold front is really only going to drop the humidity. It's not going to drop our temperatures at all. In fact, our temperatures are going to stay right around the same as we head into the next several days. That humidity mixed with that 90 to 3 degree temperature that we just showed you for that uh, for this weekend, it's going to make it feel like almost the triple digits by the time we get to 5 p.m. on Saturday. Saturday. So if you have things that you want to do this weekend, I honestly would just recommend getting out as early as you can. The earlier, the better. Once we get into that kind of 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. time frame, it's going to be feeling pretty gross outside overall. In fact, a lot of us are going to be talking about that air you can wear this weekend, and that's really going to be the thing for us, especially by Sunday. The humidity is really going to be kicking by then, feeling almost like the triple digits then as well. And the further east you go in North Carolina, temperatures are going to be feeling like the triple digits. So if you're maybe heading to the triangle at any point, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as well. If you're heading to the North Carolina coast early tomorrow morning, maybe you're taking the family on a beach trip for the weekend or just a day trip, whatever it is, we are keeping our eyes on the tropics. There's two different areas of interest. One is in the southwestern portion of the Gulf of Mexico has about a 50% chance of development over the next 48 hours as well as the next seven days. That looks like it's going to continue to trend off to the west into Mexico, but there's also this other area right off the southeastern United States in this area of low pressure. The way it's spinning is actually bringing uh, very strong winds into the shore and that is creating some rip currents for us right along that North Carolina and South Carolina coastline. So if you're heading anywhere, maybe Carolina Beach, Wrightsville Beach, Surf City, any of these areas right near uh, east of Wilmington, I should say any of those beaches, just keep in mind that that rip current threat is going to be in place through the entirety of the day Saturday as well as probably even into Sunday as well. 93 degrees to even 95 degrees by Wednesday. Day. Uh, next five days, we're going to be nice and warm and humid. And then we see some cold front that's going to move in, bring some rain chances on 30, Thursday and help bring us back into the 80s.